Today on Foundations with the Fellows, we're going to explain the HVLA technique for the anterior and posteriorly rotated clavicular heads. This video will not contain a demonstration of those techniques. Those videos will follow. This is just an explanation of the movement of the clavicle and the scapula. So if we move an arm into extension, so that's moving the arm posteriorly, it's going to anteriorly rotate the clavicle. And then if we move the arm into flexion, it's going to posteriorly rotate the clavicle. So we'll diagnose by finding the restriction in whatever movement that the clavicle has. For an anteriorly rotated clavicle, our clavicle is rotated anteriorly. So the way we're going to start our treatment is by moving the arm anteriorly forcing that clavicle into posterior rotation. We will find the clavicle's barrier then, and we will lock that into place by grabbing it with our hand, our cephalet hand. Then, we're going to move the arm posteriorly, trying to move the scapula to its barrier so that it matches up with that clavicle. The final corrective thrust will be a posterior thrust moving the scapula through its barrier to match up with that clavicle. The reverse is true with the posteriorly rotated clavicle. So if it's posteriorly rotated, we will start with the arm moved posterior into extension. This will move the clavicle anteriorly. Then as we move the arm to into flexion, we're going to be moving the scapula to its barrier relative to the clavicle. And our final corrective thrust will be an anteriorly directed force that will make the two match up. 